Hi and welcome to the third preview video for Hyperdruken Alpha Block Set 1, The New Challenges. Today we will be looking at the final fighter, the yellow fighter for Alpha 1, Taichi the Weasel, Kaze no Oni. An overly competitive and fearsome karateka, Taichi is known for his calculated and brutal approach to fighting. Broken bones, concussions, delibitating pain, Taichi does whatever it takes to win. Taichi's yellow deck is the most advanced of the three decks, requiring its player to make good judgement calls on both hands and plays. Poor calls from inexperienced players can lead Taichi to a swift defeat. A combo deck at its very core, Taichi's yellow deck looks to remove his opponent's cards from the game, then capitalise upon that with damage his opponent can't stop. Taichi's EX Fighter card starts his game plan rolling. All of his attacks gain a hit effect to remove cards equal to half of their original POW. Original POW is their printed POW. This will hurt El Eterno the most, as we've seen, but Lucy and even Taichi himself are not unaffected by having their cards removed from the game. Yellow as a whole doesn't really like level 2 attacks, they interfere with its game plan, instead choosing to focus on level 1 attacks. So most of the time, you'll be removing 1 or 2 cards. This does add up over time, and as we'll see in coming weeks, this isn't Taichi's only way to remove your opponent's cards. When Taichi's Hyper hits Max as an action, he can pay Max Hyper to perform his level 3 Hyper attack, Demon Wind Slash. Taichi's Demon Wind Slash cuts through his opponent like a knife. If it's blocked, your opponent takes effect damage equal to the amount of block cards they have removed from the game. Late game, your opponent is damned if they do, damned if they don't. Block, take around the same amount of combat damage that Demon Wind Slash would have inflicted as effect damage, or take it and have 4 more cards removed. Though, maybe it's best for them to just take it. Effect damage can't be prevented yet. An incredibly potent finisher. Your opponent best be on their guard against Taichi's Demon Wind Slash. It's probably best to try to prevent it from happening rather than deal with the hard decision of letting it hit or counting all your removed blocks. Speaking of removed blocks, our first card in Taichi's arsenal, Sniper Beam, capitalizes upon that too. A level 1 attack with 4 power. Sniper Beam's attack effect raises your Hyper 1 then it cannot be blocked by a block card that shares its name with a block card your opponent has removed from the game. Early game, this card just raises your Hyper 1, best put it back into your arsenal, but late game, it's essentially unblockable, up to 4 combat damage guaranteed. While Taichi has a fair few other ways to deal damage to his opponent, Sniper Beam is by far the most reliable tool in his arsenal. Perfectly synergizes with his skill set, and like his Demon Wind Slash, can end games. But here's the thing about Taichi. This remove from the game theme, not his most notable asset. Yellow has a card type exclusive to itself, and Taichi comes with two of them. His arsenal has other attacks just as interesting as Sniper Beam, just waiting to be shown off. Thank you for watching. Come back next week when we start looking at the card of cards for each deck. Spoilers will be Monday, Wednesday and Friday, with red, blue and yellow respectively.